Okay, so while we have a break in the action, I'm going to give you a tip on how to keep your sand fleas alive for a weekend of fishing. I'm going to say the way to go is a styrofoam cooler. I looked online and uh, they say a five gallon bucket, but, um, or even if you have a small cooler like this that, that you want to just kind of set aside for bait, uh, this might not be a bad way to go. And we're just going to dump these sand fleas right in here. Just like that. So now, so now you can see with those nicely in my net, I can dip my net in the water, get rid of my sand. Just like that. You can see I have a good amount of bait. I just actually got these. You can see I'm doing good on bait, right? So with that, now we go back, dump our bait back in our bucket. But what I'm gonna do before I even dump it back in there is I'm gonna rinse my cooler out. So cooler rinse, stand by for that. All right, so one cooler rinse complete. So you can see I got all that gunk out of there, everything that will be smelly. All right, so I'm just lifting up on my net. Right. We're getting those back into the cooler. So you can see nice and fresh. I know in your, in your mind you would think when you're keeping these that you would actually want wet sand but that's not true so you can see here we have dry sand up here and this is actually what you want so i'm just going to scoop up some of this dry sand you know just like that with your hand and just enough to cover them up real good and they're going to be good and happy of course to get sand fleas you have to go to the beach generally when i'm looking for sand fleas i really just walk along the edge of the water here looking for what it is I want to see. See where it's all rough? This is where they are, this is where they're gonna be this morning. This, this should get me a few sand fleas to demo for you. See that? That's what we're looking for. And just to show you how I'm hooking these, let's see if I can get this light to cooperate with me. All right, you can see they are quite squirmy. All right, so there he is in between my two fingers there. And I'm just actually poking through him like this if you are a seasoned sand flea user and have some recommendations on how to hook them different or better based on your experience but that's how i'm hooking them this morning and actually i'm putting more than one on but that's how sand flea number one two and three about that we found one speckled trout i don't think he's gonna make it but we found one all right welcome back to od5 this is chris coming at you you're probably wondering why is he showing us this small sheep's head that's going to get to go back um, well the matter of the fact is that this is actually my first keeper or let me let me rephrase this is my first on purpose sheep's head caught using sand fleas. I actually was fishing specifically for sheep's head here in the edge of the rocks like I normally do with my fiddler crabs. And this is my very first on purpose sheep's head caught using sand fleas. So I wanted to bring you this um, monumental moment and uh, just share that with you. All right. 